Well, hi, residents. Sit in there. Jonathan Little here. Go. As you may already know, the bankruptcy judge appointed our firm to liquidate the remaining assets of all the associated worldwide fry bread organizations and other holdings. The liquidation is complete. Yes, unfortunately it's true. The worldwide fry bread association is, it's leaderless. It, there, there's nothing to it anymore. All we have left is these boxes. I'm ready to rebuild the Worldwide Fry Bread Association, even if I have to do it by myself. I've always run a tight ship and an honest ship, and I seem to be the only one left out of uh, the directors, the chapter directors, that can put this thing back together again. Fry Bread needs me, and that's all I have to hear. Whatever I have to do, I'm going to rebuild the organization. I'm going to restore it to its former glory, and I can promise you that. That's so good. I love fried bread. As you can see, there are still boxes and equipment coming in from all around the world. Some far away is Japan. Okay, it's done. How does this sound? Get your fry bread on this Saturday, January 26th at McCoy Motors in Flagstaff, Arizona. The Worldwide Fry Bread Association is looking for six fry bread board of directors. Fry bread experience is required. Have a great fry bread day. Donathan Littlehair, WWFA President. Our social media campaign hasn't been as successful as we were hoping. We actually only got two likes. And two people sent in really poor fry bread resumes, both my relatives. I'm going to be out here for the next two hours rain or shine until the McCoy Motors interview starts. Until then, I'm going to hand out as many of these as I can. So, wish me fry bread luck. Like fry bread? One for you, one for you. No? Excuse me, do either of you want a career in fry bread? No, I hate fry bread. Get your fry bread off! Flyer? Thank you. Fry bread on! Oh, fry bread. All right, looking good. Give me a little more pizzazz, Donnie. Come on. Hey, okay, there you go. Big smiles, everybody. These are applications, if you'll fill out the first two pages. They also contain information about the fry bread organization, our fry bread motto. And if you'll just uh, carefully fill out those pages, that would be very helpful to us. Thank you. I'm Donathan Littlehair. Yeah, I'm the president of the Worldwide Fry Bread Association. Donathan yeah. Littlehair. <laughs> Hi, I'm Donathan Littlehair. Hi. Hi. Tell me about your fry bread qualifications. 
Well, I started making fried bread with my mother when I was six years old and been making it ever since. Great, that's great. That's a perfect age to become introduced to fry bread. I wasn't sure how, how it's gonna be. You know, the, the Worldwide Fry Bread Association has gone through so much turmoil and I wasn't sure that, that, that people would actually come here and, and apply. So I am really excited about this. I'm really excited that they came out. I understand your concern for the Worldwide Fry Bread Association, though you've got to remember we were nominated for the best national food organization in 2010, and we won the dang thing in 2011. So I have the skills, I have the training, I have the drive, and most importantly, banning security requires big security. Look at me, I'm as big as you can get. I have relatives everywhere, in the US, Canada, Alaska. And she was like, your bread is the best. So why weren't you in the fry bread championship last year? And I was all like, I didn't know about it. That's why I wasn't in it. If we need you, we'll call you. Buffy was a weird guy. Boy. I thought the day went pleasantly well. I was very pleased with the number of fry bread artists that came out. But I'm a bit concerned with the lack of representation from some of the other necessary fry bread skills as well. Uh, positions like the uh, fry bread security director and the, the office manager, um, community outreach and uh, the events coordinator. We really need to fill those positions as well. We just received a last minute online fry bread application and resume and it's absolutely incredible if it's true. So I'm going to check it out. I strongly believe that if we get our office manager first, then the rest of the team will fall into place. Good morning, Miss Amber Yazzie? Yes, good morning. Hi, I'm Donathan Littlehair, and I'm here on official fry bread business on behalf of the Worldwide Fry Bread Association. We recently received your fry bread resume, and we were especially impressed with your fry bread experience and expertise. I have honestly never seen a better resume, and I've been in the fry bread business for a very long time. Oh, thank you. Yes, and on behalf of the Worldwide Fry Bread Association, we would like to offer you a position with our office as the Fry Bread Office Manager. Oh, well, that's very really kind of you, uh, but I kind of thought it wasn't real. My friends had me sign up as a joke. I already have a job. I assure you it's very real. Fry Bread couldn't be more real. In your current position, do you work in the Fry Bread sector? Well, no. Fry bread's always just been a hobby. Well, imagine fry bread being your life work. Uh, Amber is thinking about uh, the fry bread office manager position. Uh, the pay question is still a concern, but I found that any time there was a fry bread concern, that fry bread w always made it through. I call it fry bread karma. Can I help you? Is this the home of Mr. Earl Tully? No. I don't know that guy. He's at the wrong house. Sounds like a combi. I'm not gonna work for free fry bread. My kids, they need to eat more than fry bread. What are they supposed to wear? Fry bread sweaters? Fry bread undies? Nah, it's not gonna work for me. It's not cool. It's not, it's not for me. I guess some people just are not as committed to fry bread as they should be. They don't realize the nutritional value of fry bread. You can have fry bread with a lot of different things. You can have fry bread with jelly, fry bread with peanut butter, fry bread with hamburger, fry bread with mutton stew, fry bread with ice cream, you can have 
fry bread with uh, almost anything. My best friend works here. He owes me some favors for some projects that I helped him out with some time ago. So we're going to ask him for some help. Yes, that's true. It's time to collect. Surprise? Are you bitten out? Give me a hug. Oh, good to see you. It's been a long time. Please have a seat. As you know, uh, we are, or I am, in the process of rebuilding the WWFA. And I'm building a team to get the organization back on its feet again. Right, and I, I have been following the litigation that's been going on. I was happy that I haven't seen your name or face come across any of that. Some of it was quite entertaining, to be honest with you. Well, Fragment isn't meant to be entertaining, or at least not like that. We are just, uh, just trying to rebuild. I would like you to be on our team. Honestly, I'm not surprised that Don has asked me to be on the Fry Bread board with him, with the Worldwide Fry Bread Association. I'm very qualified. I've researched fry bread for a long time. In fact, I've documented well over 5,000 fry bread cases around the world from interviews in the, the heart of the Grand Canyon up to the tops of Mount Everest with the villages and indigenous people live up there. I've been around the world working and researching and digging into what fry bread is and what it means. And so to be asked to be on the board is a, a special moment for me. Um, I feel that I'm prepared and the right person to be there. Yes, this is the oldest fry bread known to man within the scientific community, at least that we've found. Um, I was on a dig um, that was taking place a couple years ago just south of Shiprock, New Mexico. When we unearthed this piece, um, it has been carbon dated to be over 500 years old. Yes, I was at the archaeological site, and I did see them bring up the, the fry bread. Um, but um, as you know, um, interfering with artifacts is, is against the law. And on the ground, there were a few little tiny, just small little pieces, smaller than a dime, that were there. There was no way we were going to be able to save those. And so Don and I... Um, very quickly agreed to both of us, we tasted a little tiny bit of it. And um, I can neither confirm nor deny what Dr. Hamlin told you. Just the flavors and the way it like attacked my palate. Um, it was just, it was pure Dantanilkaj ecstasy. I, I'm sorry, no more questions at this time. I, I, I have some more fry bread team members to find. See, Amber has agreed to accept the position as the fry bread office manager. And no, she didn't agree to accept payment in fry bread. I'll be compensating her out of my per capita until the association can pick up the tab, which I expect to be fairly soon. We're also subleasing these spaces down here, and this is the new headquarters of the Worldwide Fry Bread Association. We're very proud of it. You're sure there's no one else you can think of? No other relatives or anyone who owes you more favors? No, no relatives and no one owes me favors. I did stop by the prison on the way in and I talked to the prison outreach officer. But he said we couldn't use inmates because of the potentially dangerous situation with hot fry bread grease. So, no, no one. Have you contacted all previous fry bread volunteers, contestants, your in-law, your ex, your girlfriend? Hello, no one is available to take your call. No, they wouldn't be interested. They're all pretty upset. So am I. But we are desperate, right? Hi. 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 
I was expecting my agent Steve. And I, I'm Donathan Littlehair from the Worldwide Fry Bread Association. And you came all the way out here to look for me. To offer you a job. To, to, a job. to, to help us out. I knew it would come to this, but what took Donathan so long? That's the part I can't figure out. I've been waiting and getting ready for this pageant. I've got that in the bag, so Worldwide Fry Bread Association. Oh, I'm just so happy. Thank oh, you. the job oh, is yours. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Steve's going to be really happy. I've been working for something, Great. but it took you forever to get here. <laughs> And I'm so happy you are finally here. <laughs> oh, to be a member of the Worldwide Fiber Ed Association. Yes, yes. I can do it. I am so excited. Steve is going to flip like a fry bread. So, Betty for Fry Bread Artist Rep. What is that exactly? Well, it's kind of like a fry bread talent manager. She keeps the fry bread artists happy and she looks to develop upcoming talent as well as to keep the current talent successful. Things like that. To the north. Hi, are you selling Girl Scout cookies? No. My mom doesn't like Girl Scout cookies, but I do. Yeah, shut the door. Sorry, but I hope you sell a lot. Bye. I could use a thin mint. What's up? You new probation officer? No, I'm actually looking for Buddy. Mr. Buddy Begay? Oh, uh, you know the reporter? No, I'm just Donathan Littlehair from the Fry Bread Association. All right, you want to order some of Buddy's bread. Well, Buddy don't make bread no more. He's out of the whole fry bread thing. He doesn't be eating no more. He's been fry bread clean for two years. Fry bread sobriety, bro. Oh, wow. I just wanted to speak with him about a fry bread opportunity. Okay. Yeah, he's still torn. He's tearing it up, too. Last month, we burnt 10,000 of his newest album. Plan for it to go platinum. But once it does go platinum, I'm going to be his manager full time. He's playing Wheatfields this weekend. If you want to check it out, I can get you some discounted tickets. He sold 43 albums. Well, 44 if you count the one he gave away at KTNN. You want one? Even it out to a solid 45? Get us that much closer to platinum gold? Well, they're 15 for one or two for 25. Since you're one of those boys, maybe two or even a box, we can hook you up with a wicked deal, bro. No, thank you. Uh, our budget is tight right now. Next quarter, maybe we'll be in a better position. Well, okay, here, this one's on the house. Why are you here? Who is this J-Dog? It's Jimmy Begay. He's Buddy's younger brother. They call him J-Dog. And you offered him a job, no resume? Well, I had no other prospects for community outreach. I can always fire him if necessary. And he agreed to work for Fry Bread. Really? Uh, yes, three dozen a week. Three dozen fry breads every fry bread Friday at uh, the close of business by 5 p.m. And they also have to be hot and fresh. Uh, that's a responsibility we'll need you to take care of. 
Oh, and he also donated these CDs. He said that Buddy recorded some um, Fry Red songs that we can use for a small fee. What about the event coordinator position? Any luck there? Well, sort of. Charmaine Cruz. to bother you, Mrs. Cruz, but I was wondering if You I know could... my name? How do you know my name? Are you with the BIA? Oh, no, no, I'm not with the BIA. It never happened. I, the I... FBI? No, no, wait, I'm here representing the WWFA, the Worldwide Fry Bread Association. <sighs> I remember you. Go away, Fry Bread. Hey. Were you on the rock in 69? No, but I did swim over there in February of 1970 and stayed for 11 months. Right yeah, I agreed to do it. Be part of his little popover organization or fry bread, whatever they want to call it. You know, I'm down for it. I'll do it. If it's cool, I'm there. But you know, if it sucks, forget it. I'm out of there. I ain't afraid to walk. You know, I was part of AIM. A-I-M. American Indian Movement. And I ain't afraid of nothing. Honey, cancel that ambulance. This guy's okay, just a little bruised. Join the club, huh? Welcome to it, baby. You want to join in a minute, huh? Come on, how old are you, Gramps? Come on, tell me how. Get up! What are you doing faking the funk for? Get up and battle! Oh, hold them. You gotta be ready to battle anytime, any minute. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so here's the dealio. Get you one month free. You survive that. We rep you, baby. You know what I mean? Get you geared up everywhere, some nice shorts, you know what I mean? Bam! It'll be crazy, dude. Then you get the sponsors coming in, you get the ladies, you get everything, man. Bam! That's all you need. You got life insurance? You want to show us what you got today? Huh? Free workout, baby. Free workout with my lady. No, but I, I, I was in... Uh, 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 spit it out, Gramps! Oh, I know you're hiding something. I ain't stupid, baby. Right here, hidden tiger. <laughs> the hidden tiger, baby. I like that. I like that. Bow tie on the outside, a hidden tiger on the inside, just crawling and wants to just rip. That was a crazy experience. I guess you could say we're still looking for our fry bread security director, not the uh, fry bread undertaker and his minions. <laughs> Meatloaf isn't gonna work. Meatloaf for lunch? His lunch, maybe. I'm glad I'm still alive.
Where'd you get this? Internet. Plots of 73, huh? Yeah. I scheduled the first board meeting this Friday. Everyone said they'd be there except for your Freibird security. I know. I did do some Freibird security research. There weren't many, but I did find this one guy who appeared everywhere. In fact, one review gave him 11 out of 10 stars. What's his name? They call him the Bull. You know, sometimes you look at it, you know, you're afraid to look at somebody, you know, but me, I look at my shit in the eye and see what they look like, see what they're doing, try to see what they're thinking, you know, get into their mind just by one look, break them down, in other words, you know. You gotta, you gotta be, you pay attention to their clothing, you know. They got on a, a trench coat, you know, what's under that trench coat? Is it just an arm, a leg? What is it? Could be a weapon, could be a bat. You know, it's fry bread and then it's sacred, you know, it's big time. And uh, as a security guard, that's our guy.